It is time for the beginning of the end. Hello, hello everyone. I am Andrew Dornan, also known as the Twelfth Gun here on YouTube. And today is some more Let's Play Pokemon Blue version. In the previous episode, we took care of a lot of things. We took care of Cinnabar Island. Then we came to, not here just yet, but we went over to the Kanto Power Plant. Cut ourselves a Zapdos really only after two balls which was great like with the first one fail and we th threw the second one and the second one succeeded and it was great and then from there uh we came back to viridian city and it turns out that giovanni was the gym leader for viridian city all along who knew th th me because because i did i did the research and i played the game before and probably a lot of you did as well if if you're recurring Pokemon people who have been playing for a while, but if you're new, you probably didn't know that. Anyways, <laughs> let's get started, shall we? Um, so before we get started, we actually need to ha need to head to Fuchsia City because um, I wasn't sure where the Lickitung trade was. I knew it was a uh, trade exclusive Pokemon because I had done all of like the wild encounters and I never discussed. Uh, Lickitung and so I was trying to figure out what it was and I like mentioned in the video I was like man I don't know where Lickitung is and in the comments Gunner was like I know and I was like cool thank you um, which was great uh, Gunner also left one of his master comments uh, so you can go down there and uh, in the previous episode and uh, read all he has to say and then also between episodes I was talking to him about the Pokemon Let's Play, and I was, you know, just trying to figure out, you know, aside from the stuff that I have planned for the next few episodes, like, what else do I need to cover? And he was like, you actually are doing pretty good. I haven't missed anything completely, aside from Ligaton. Also, uh, I recorded the bio for Ditto, but I forgot to include it in the video. So, <laughs> we're gonna have a little two-for-one deal. Uh, we're gonna run the Ligaton bio and the, um, is this west, north, south, east? Yeah. <laughs> <For th> <laughs> okay, so, I don't even think some of my real life friends know this, but, like, in real life, when I have trouble remembering which is east and which is west, I do a compass rose in the air, because I always remember, like, you go north, south, and I'm... You go up on north, down on south, obviously. And then for east, on uh, muscle memory, I go towards the east. And then for west, I fling my finger to the west, and that's or to the left. And that's how I remember north, south, east, and west. I could just remember it as Savannah, Georgia's on the east coast, and that's where I was for like, like 20 weeks of my life. Um, but no, I gotta, I gotta do the air compass rose let's talk to you i'm looking for a slowbro i want to trade one for lickitung so if you have a slowbro you can trade it for this lickitung and i've got that lickitung bio and the ditto bio so we're gonna run them side by side here we go the ditto 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 well what is the ditto now that i've said it way too many times well uh, for starters, uh, let's talk about those stats. It's, they're, they're all the same. <laughs> 48 across the board. Uh, also it only knows one move, transform. Which sounds bad. But it isn't? But it is. Well, let's talk about it. Transform is interesting because it takes on the form of its target. Not only that, but it copies the moves, stats, and cry of the target. That's pretty neat. Plus, it can copy any Pokemon that it's up against. To change it back, all you have to do is swap it out and then swap it back in. Ditto is a neat Pokemon that can be used against other Pokemon that are weak to their own typing, like Ghost or Dragon types. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, Ditto's unique. I'll leave it at that. It's unique. That is a big tongue. It's not even a frog. Why does it have such a long tongue? You know what, you know what, let's move past that design and take a look at Lickitung's stats and moveset. 
Lickitung is a pure normal type, but with an interesting twist. Its special stat is super low, with attack, defense, and speed all being decently above average. As far as its moveset is concerned, Lickitung can learn a crazy assortment of moves via TMs and HMs, with the ones you probably want being Earthquake, Hyper Beam, Body Slam, and Strength. It is possible that you will encounter some Pokemon that might outspeed this guy, but it could be useful if you picked it up before fighting Koga. I would recommend this Pokemon if you would want something for Koga, but if you're like me and forgot about this trade, then I'm not 100% sure you'll want it for the Elite Four. Alrighty, and so, yeah, again, I threw that Ditto Bio in because I was like, oh man, I totally forgot to edit in the uh, the Ditto Bio because I was, like, cutting out a lot of battles, like, training up Vinny. This is the wrong city. Um, but yeah, so it was, like, it was one of those things I just completely forgot. And then talking to Gunner, he was like, hey, did you forget about ditto and I was like hold on did I and I checked my files I was like oh yes and no I didn't forget him in the sense that like I uh, recorded the bio uh, but I did forget in terms of actually putting it in the video but it's now in the video so it's like you know it's okay because in the end we will still have all of the bios done one way or another um, but it's actually kind of nice that there have been some times where I've caught myself and I'm like, oh, hey, I can just record that bio right here and now. Um, uh, oh, excuse me. But then there are some Pokemon that I just completely, like, forget. And so, like, I forget to, like, do their bio. Um, real quick, I'm gonna have Kitty Bank be up here. Amber is 44, Braithy is 45, uh, Bulby is 39. Jojo and Kitty Bank both 38. Vinny's 42. Okay. Um, oh, I need to grab these. Yeah. Um, have these ready. Put you there. And put this here. Alright. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's still on. My, my yellow pamphlet is still on uh, Giovanni. Here we go. Excellent, I'm all ready to go. So we want to head on through here, because if you remember, um, I don't have the map, unfortunately. I left that in the PC. Um, but <clears throat> last time we were here, we were stopped by Blue, who said that if you continued on, you'd be confronted with um, the gates to the um, Elite Four. And so it's like, hey, you know, you can't go any farther because you don't have any gym badges. Well, guess what? Now that we've all have uh, all of the gym badges, we are here. And so we're going to head on. Never mind. What, Andrew? What a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Andrew, as a warm-up for Pokemon League. Come on. It is time for, as I've written in my Pokemon Yellow Notes, Route 22 Reprise. Uh, we are fighting Gary. Gary sends out a Pidgeot level 40. Why does my note say Pidgeotto? It's it's the typo. It's supposed to say Pidgeot. A Pidgeot level 47 normal flying with the moves Wing Attack, Agility, Quick Attack, and Whirlwind. I'm going to get started with the Thunderbolt. Because, you know, super effective. Maybe not the best... Um, stat like lineup okay super effective that quick attack might do us in but I think we're, we're still doing pretty good uh, in yellow version he will have a sand slash level 47 pure ground type with the move slash swift fury attack and poison sting um, now I've gotten all my notes fixed so things are gonna get a bit complicated <laughs> um that's how I feel every time I look at uh, all of Blue's team. I'm like, things are gonna get complicated. Um, there's a chance... Oh man, I need to buy some items. I completely forgot to do that, but oh well. Going for the wing attack. Uh, we're going for the thunderbolt. Oh, it didn't use quick attack this time. That's nice. There we go. Critical hit. I wish you got that critical hit a lot sooner, Kitty Bank, but oh well. 
Uh, is about to use Rhyhorn. Uh, yeah, we're gonna change. We're gonna change over to hmm. Vinny or Aimberry. Vinny, Aimberry. Hmm. I'm gonna say Vinny. Rhyhorn is level 45 ground rock with the moves Fury Attack, Stomp, Horn Attack, and Tail Whip. In Yellow Virgin, he has a Kadabra, level 50, pure Psych Attack, with the moves Psy Beam, Psychic, Reflect, and Recover. Um, I've noticed that... Hold on, is this going to work this time? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, I have noticed that um, despite there being a lot of changes, like half of... Uh, Gary's team does stay constant, which is very nice. So it's just the last three Pokemon that you have to try to keep track of. Oh, wait. Did he wake up immediately? He woke up immediately? <laughs> what the heck? I don't think we... Have we ever had that happen? I don't... I don't remember. Somebody's going to be in the comments be like, Oh, this one time it woke up immediately. And it's like, oh, okay. But that's kind of interesting. I know Braithy has woken up immediately, but like us inflicting sleep on someone else. There we go. Quad week to that solar beam. Uh, Gary's about to send out Gyarados. Yeah, it's water flying, so we're going to want to send out Kitty Bank. Uh, here we go. Gyarados is level 45 water flying with the moves Dragon Rage, Hydro Pump, Bite, and Leer. Uh, blue version. Uh, his, his other constant in blue version is uh, Execute, level 45, Grass Psychic, with the moves Leech Seed, Stun Spore, Poison Powder, and Solar Beam. Um, I don't think he's he will have sent out any of his other Pokemon, so I'm just kind of like reading them as we go, making sure that it's like, you know, I talk about three over here, I talk about three over there. Um, <clears throat> so this is if he has his starter as a Venusaur. Uh, if he has... Uh, er... Gyarados, okay, that's if he, yeah, if he has a Venusaur, he has a, okay, these, <clears throat> am I on the right thing? Yeah, it's just a level discrepancy, um, so Venusaur will have a Gyarados, uh, if he has a Blast Sword, he will have an Execute, level 45, uh, Grass Psychic, Leech Seed, Poison Powder, Solar Beam, and Growth. And I, I, between episodes, I did cross-check this with Cerebi. Um, so there are some inconsistencies, which is kind of weird, considering how big Pokemon is and how this series has been around for 20 years. Um, if he has a Charizard, he will have a Gyarados, level 45, Water Flying, with the moves Dragon Rage, Hydro Pump, Bite, and Leer. So... Um, that also might be a bit wrong, uh, if my Venusaur Gyarados is wrong, uh, where in my notes it says level 47. I think that might actually be a typo, because I look right below and it says fire, <laughs> when it should be water. I think I was looking at something else when I was writing that. Um, so yeah, that's probably a typo. I tend to have... <laughs> When I'm writing stuff down very quickly, I tend to have typos, and so sometimes it's important to like have a distinction of, ooh, got the paralysis, of like what's a typo and what was genuine misinformation. So I think right there was a uh, a typo. I'm going to use Thunderbolt again. Kitty Bank's down to 28 health. Super effective. There we go. Kitty Bank grew to level 39. Excellent. Speeds at 116. Very nice. Uh, is about to use Growlithe. Yeah, we're going to change to Aimberry. Between episodes, I gave Aimberry the move Surf just because it made a lot of sense. Yeah, I think I got... 
Yeah, I think I accidentally swapped them in my notes. His Growth is level 47. Pure Fire type with the moves Ember, Leer, Takedown, and... Yeah, yeah, it's definitely... I. For some reason, um, there's like this weird thing happening when I was cutting and pasting. Uh, because I noticed that like Gyarados was level 47 Fire. Um, oh my gosh, yeah. So, Gyarados had Dragon Rage, Hydro Pump, Bite, and Leer. That's the same across um, both Gyaradoses. I'm looking closer and I see right here, Gyarados, <laughs> level 47 fire with the moves Ember, Leer, Takedown, and Agility. Like, no, that's not right. His Growlithe, level 47, pure fire type, and the moves Ember, Takedown, Leer, and Agility. I said that a bit out of order, but that's fine. Um, if his Eevee is about to become a Vaporeon, he will have a Magneton, level 45, Electric type, and the moves Thundershock, Thunder Wave, Supersonic, and Swift. Um... If he is going to have, if he has a Jolteon, he will have a Nine Tails level 45 pure fire type with the moves Ember, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Roar. Uh, if he has a Flareon, he will have a Cloister level 45 Water Ice with the moves Withdraw, Clamp, Supersonic, and Aurora Beam. Uh, his other Pokemon, since I'm here, um, actually, hold on. If we, well, I think this is his second to last. Um. Yeah, okay. So I was just, I was trying to keep them all straight in my head for like discussing this. Um, if he has a Blastoise, um, he will have a Growlithe that's uh, level 47, pure fire type. Same moves as this one. Um, and then if he has a Charizard, he will have an Execute, level 47, Grass Psychic, with the moves Leech Seed, Poison Powder, Solar Beam, and Growth. Um,. And then, yeah, this is, uh, things get very complicated with your rivals team, and I get it, but also it's kind of a pain to keep it all straight. Um, just starting with Flareon and working our way back, if he has a Flareon, he will have a Magneton, level 47, Electric type with the moves Thundershock, Thunder Wave, Supersonic, and Swift. If he has a Jolteon, he will have a Cloister, level 47, Water Ice with the moves Withdraw, Clamp, Supersonic, and Aurora Beam. If he has a Vaporeon, he will have a Ninetales, level 47, Pure Fire, uh, with the moves Ember, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Roar. Oh, use that surf. Ugh. <laughs> Things get very complicated very quickly. Uh, and maybe that's why there's a bit of discrepancy both in my notes and also on online sources. Um, it's just because it's very hard to keep track. Um... It's crazy. Uh, Alakazam. Oh, okay. So we haven't uh, fought this Alakazam, but we, we talked about all the others already. Um, where's Braithy? There's Braithy. Uh, Alakazam is a level 50 pure psychic type with the move Psychic, Psybeam, Reflect, and Recover. I hope... Ooh, use Reflect. That's better. Uh, gained armor. So I think that ups his defense. Ooh. That's super effective and same type attack bonus, but she is five levels lower, and he put up a reflect. Tried to put up another reflect, but we're going to go and do another twin needle. Braithy got a critical hit. Thank you, Braithy. Uh, he's about to use Venusaur. I'm going to keep him out. And now it's time to talk about the starters. Venusaur is level 53 Grass Poison with the moves Vine Whip, Poison Powder, Razor Leaf, and Growth. If you chose a Charmander, you will have a Blastoise, level 53, pure water type, with the moves Hydro Pump, Bite, Skull Bash, and Withdraw. And if you chose a Bulbasaur, he will have a Charizard, level 53, Fire Flying, with the moves Flamethrower, Slash, Rage, and Leer. Now on to Yellow Version. If I... Uh, his... If he has a Vaporeon, he will have <laughs> a Vaporeon, level 53, Pure water type of the moves Hydro Pump, Aurora Beam, Haze, and Acid Armor. Uh, he it, Alternatively, he can have a Jolteon, level 53, Electric type of the moves Thunder, Thunder Wave, Pin Missile, and Agility. And uh, the final uh, version of Eevee he can have is a Flareon, level 53, Pure Fire type of the moves Flamethrower, Leer, uh, Fire Spin, and Smog. Whoa. Uh... So we've got Twin Needle with Bug Type move. It's Quad Weak. Same type of attack bonus. Let's do it. Ooh. That's uh, about a third? So we did two thirds of its health. 
going in for the Vine Whip, not very effective, and finish it off with the Pin Missile. Excellent, that's my breathy. Uh, this time around, I have water. Because you should stay hydrated. Uh, there we go. I've gone so long without, like, drinking water or tea during a video, but now I was like, you know what, let's have some water. Breathy grew to level 46. Andrew defeated Gary. What? I was just careless. Got 3,400 Poké Dollars. That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokémon League. Andrew, you need more practice. But hey, you know that? Uh, I'm out of here. Smell ya. Oh, it was like, but you knew that. Okay, I misread that. Well, um... We just encountered the final evolutions of those starters uh, for the second time, so I think now is a better time to finally discuss what is special about those final evolutions. Are you ready? Go. It's taken me way too long to talk about these final evolutions for the starter Pokemon, and I'm incredibly sorry, but now is better than never. Let's get started with Venusaur. Like its line's claim to fame, it holds on to that grass poison typing. What changes when it evolves into a Venusaur? Well, it manages to keep its HP, attack, defense, and speed all roughly the same at about 80 to 85, which is decently above average. Additionally, it has a special stat of 100, making it super powerful and the highest special stat amongst the three starters. It only has three moves left to learn naturally, Growth, Sleep Powder, and, po and Solar Beam. And at this point, you're probably well aware of my love for the combination of Sleep Powder and Solar Beam. So, those are a must-have. Additionally, if you don't want to wait until level 65 to learn Solar Beam, Venusaur is compatible with TM22 Solar Beam. Overall, there's a reason why so many people love a Gen 1 Venusaur. From the most special starter to the speediest starter, we have Charizard. This bio is actually really hard. I try not to be too negative in these bios, but Charizard just doesn't fix any of the issues I've talked about with the Charmander line. It only learns three fire type moves naturally, with two of them being level 46 for flamethrower and level 55 for fire spin. You'll most likely be able to get your Charizard up to level 46 in time for the Elite Four, but you'll not be close to getting Fire Spin. Additionally, you can learn Fire Blast via TMs, but the way this game treats accuracy makes it hard to use unless you've got a stockpile of X accuracies. Additionally, while being part flying, it doesn't learn any flying type moves, not even fly. If you're playing Gen 1, only go for the Charmander line if you really, 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 really want a challenge. Okay, so I am at the Celadon Department Superstore uh, because I realized that I probably should get some uh, items before we head out uh, into Route 23 and beyond uh, because there is a, a bit of a dungeon between us and the next thing. Uh, so these are TMs. I'm so I just bought a bunch of super potions and uh, some super repels and Now I'm looking around Let's see. This is the store aisle. I think there was one guy that sold um, vitamins uh, Hi there. Bye uh, Hmm, I could have sworn Was it this floor or was it the first floor? I'm not entirely sure. What is this? Uh, express yourself with gifts uh, elemental stones now on sale. Okay. Uh, I think this is the vitamin guy. One of these guys is. Uh, hi there. How may I help you? Yes, this is it. Okay. Um, so I've learned that carbos is, uh, carbohydrates. Uh, so I'm going to, oh, jeez, they're so expensive. Uh, I think I'm going to buy, uh, one of each or maybe a bunch of one. Uh, but regardless, I will be, uh, right back, and I will see you guys back in Route 22 after I've done some required shopping. Alright, so I'm back. I decided to cut back a little bit early, but that's okay. Um, so I got a couple of, um, Carbos and a couple of Calciums, and I gave the, um, the Carbos to Braithy and the Calcium to, um, uh, Kitty Bank. Uh, just to kind of like up their um, their their stats a little bit. Apparently, 
they work differently in Gen 1. Uh, it's They add um, experience, air quotes, uh, to the stat instead of just straight up boosting the stat. Um, which is something that I <laughs> wish I had, I had looked into right before I bought them. Um, but, like, I had the page in front of me, I could have looked a little bit closer, but I read, like, Eevee, and it's, like, after I used them, I was like, wait, hold on, Eevees, were they a thing, or were they DVs? And I looked closer, and it was, like, ex like special experience, and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, well, you gotta learn the hard way, so I may or may not have just spent, like, 30,000 polka dollars, maybe 40,000. Uh... What do you have to say, sir? Oh, that is the boulder badge. Go right ahead. So, after the first gym, you could have made it past here. Uh, you can pass here only if you have the cascade badge. Oh, that is the cascade badge. Okay, then, please, go right ahead. Uh, this is such an epic song. Even if it is, like, a very bit crunchy kind of song, it's still great. You can uh, pass here only if you have the thunder badge. Oh, that is the thunder badge. Okay then, go right ahead. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I love this song. Oh, it's so amazing. Hello there, sir. You can pass here only if you have the rainbow badge. Oh, that is the rainbow badge. Okay then, please, go right ahead. Uh, we need... We're... I know I told, uh, taught Surf to Amberry, but it just wouldn't be right. Uh surfing on uh, Amberry when we've so surfed on Bulby the entire time. You can pass here only if you have the Soul Badge. Oh, that is the Soul Badge. Okay, then, please, go right ahead. I, I, I'm not a fan of the whole, like, surfing theme out, uh, overriding the, the Victory Road theme. Uh, you can pass here only if you have the Marsh Badge. Oh, that is the Marsh Badge. Okay, then, please, go right ahead. Alright. And now, up here we go. And, uh, there's actually, now that there is, uh, tall grass, I can actually, um, do the next set of bios. Yes, we still have bios. Because there are Pokemon we still have yet to, uh, talk about. So I'm going to run those now. It's time to finally talk about the evolution of the Sandshrew, Sandslash. Why did I wait this long? I, I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Well, regardless, what about those stats? Well, Sandslash has some crazy high attack and defense, with both being in the triple digits. This means that it can use physical moves like Earthquake, Hyper Beam, and Rock Slide, all to great effect. Additionally, if you're feeling really mean, you can see if your Sand Slash still has Sand Attack. You can use that to really disrupt your opponent and get them to start missing their attacks. Overall, this is a pretty good Ground-type Pokemon. Oh boy, Kingler. In case you missed my comments on Krabby, this line has a high attack stat despite water being a special type. This isn't entirely bad per se, but the fact that it can't use any of its water type moves to full effect and mostly just learning normal type attacks is not ideal. But there are plenty of other Pokemon with high attack stats that would actually be appropriate to having nothing but normal type and other physical type moves. Kingler is not one of them. Oh heck, it's what our angry burb the Spiro would evolve into if we actually trained it and not used it solely as a fly taxi. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Well, anyways, back to Firo. What do you get with a Firo? Well, it's still normal flying with a decently high speed. Additionally, all of its other stats are above average and attack being a bit behind speed at around 90. At level 25, Fiero will learn Mirror Move, a flying type move that will have the user using the move that the opponent used the last turn. Then, at level 34, Fiero will learn Drill Peck, which is effectively a much better peck. As far as TMs go, this Angry Bird can learn Razor Wing, Hyper Beam, and Sky Attack, thus giving it a wide range of physical attacks. If you never got the old Amber and got the resurrected Aerodactyl, this is a good substitute. Right, yep. <laughs> and uh, even though we've taken care of those bios, there's still more up ahead. 
Oh, uh, you can pass here only if you have the volcano badge. Oh, that is the volcano badge. Okay, then please go right ahead. I like how we have all of them and they're on our trainer card. And it's like the first guy could have like let the the other guys know like, yeah, he has all the badges, but nah. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's still kind of neat like going through this checklist. You can pass here only if you have the earth badge. Oh, that is the earth badge. Okay, then please go right ahead. Oh, does that mean that the Viridian Gym is back in order? That's amazing! Victory Road Gate to the Pokemon League. And now we are in this cave. Which this cave is, um, Victory Road. Uh, da 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 da. First thing I want to do real quick is just activate Strength because there are boulders in here. Uh, now that I've taken care of that, it's time to run. I would say the last of the bios, but. Uh, there's actually one more, but we're not gonna run it now. We're gonna run it later, and you'll see why later. It's kind of, you know, what? just roll the tape. Did you know you can catch a Graveler in the wild? You do now. Much like with Geodude, Graveler is all about defense and not keen about the whole speed thing. Additionally, with Special being its worst stat and being quad weak to both grass and water, Graveler will have a hard time against some of the Pokemon used in the Elite Four. It does, however, no self-destruct, and it'll learn Explosion at level 43, along with Earthquake at level 36. Honestly, if you want something that knows Explosion and self-destruct, you'd be better off with an Electrode from the Power Plant. If you have access to training, then you can evolve your Graveler into Golem. This evolution comes with the same perks as any evolution, increased stats across the board. Other than that, it's actually about the same as Graveler in terms of learn set. So that's about it. It's still rock ground and it's still quad weak to grass and water. <laughs> God dang it. I encountered a wild gold bat that's level 41 because even with a super repel on because it's you know so high level. Oh my, what the frick? Oh it's a bug. <laughs> a bug just flew right in front of my face. I was like what? Why? Uh uh, Braithy. Braithy seems like the best candidate for the job. Probably gonna use that Confuse Ray. You Supersonic somehow got the hit. Well, at least uh, with this I can run. There we go. So let's uh, let's put Braithy up front. Cause she's probably higher level than all of the the wild Pokemon here. Uh, can I? Oh no. Oh gosh, uh, that was a mistake. Crap, I have to leave and come back to reset the boulders. Uh, Bulby, can you use your strength again? Thanks, buddy. Uh, let's see. Uh, go up. Let's go. Oh, there's a thing here. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? It probably involves us moving this. Those lovely sound effects. Kerchunk, kerchunk. Crunch, crunch. Boom, boom. Uh, it's magical. It's a magical experience. Here we go. Just keep pushing it. This away. So, yes, there's a tiny bit of a puzzle here with uh, boulders. Uh, let's see. What? No. Okay, northeast corner. Okay. So, this is a northeast. This is just east. There we go. That's taken care of, which means that the mysterious thing that was blocking our path is no longer here. So now we can keep uh, keep moving forward. Uh, so northeast corner A, A, uh, west movable. Interesting. Oh, I see it. Okay. So move you this away. Ah, it's one of those. Okay. TM43, which is a move that exists. I say that every time. I wonder if someone's like low key keep. Ah, this is where you get Sky Attack. Uh, you can teach that to a flying type Pokemon that is compatible with said uh, TM. Um, there's a trainer there. Repels effect, wore off, not a fan. Gonna throw another one. Um, yeah, the thing about those Boulder puzzles is that they really like have you burn through your your super repels 
Maybe I should have gotten some max repels, but I'm running kind of low on that money. <laughs> this thing called money? Um. Oh, shoot, that's right. Uh, Balby, strength, thank you. <laughs> the bear used his strength to move the boulders for the man. Like, thank you. <laughs> the man replied. Found a rare candy. Uh, we can give that to uh, any of our Pokemans. Who is more deserving of the rare candy? Hmm. Jojo, Kitty Bank. <sighs> Vinny's been doing pretty good. Jojo hasn't seen a lot of action. Hmm. But I did put a few items on Kitty Bank. So maybe with this level up, we'll see that increase. Hmm. There are some more fights. Hmm. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna put it on Kitty Bank, and I'm gonna have JoJo be up front for some battles. So yeah, that's my justification. Go, Kitty Bank grew to level 40. Uh, attack of 69, defense 63, speed of 119, special of 69. Okay. Hmm. Well, not too big of gains. We're gonna have JoJo up here because there is a fight, or there's a wild encounter. Oh, it's an Onyx. Well, hi, buddy. Oh, it's level 42. Okay. Well, um, let's do Jump Kick. You missed. Kept going and crashed. <laughs> yep, there's that one HP. <laughs> I love it. Uh, use that Rage. Uh, use that Jump Kick again. I just love it. It's like, use jump kick! And it's like, it keeps going, and it crashed! Oh, uh, I love it. I wonder if you are good enough for me. Uh, um, that that's a loaded question. <laughs> cool trainer, female, wants to fight, and I, Persian. Uh, okay, normal type, level 44, though, quite speedy. Um, are we gonna go for the... Jump Kick's got good power, but does have a good chance of missing. Um, let's go for... Ooh, the Screech, but it failed. Uh, go for the Double Kick, same type attack bonus, and super effective. Ooh. Hit the enemy two times, and the enemy lived. Uh, use the Hyper Potion on the Hy um, Hyperion? No, the Persian. Um, let's go... Ooh, hit with that Screech. Greatly fell by two stages. Yikes. And got a critical on that. Excellent. Thank you, Jojo. Uh, is about to use a Ninetales. No, we're going to keep Jojo. Um, Let's see. Fire type, 44. We are faster, it seems. Or at the very least, we won the tie. Ooh, got hit with that Ember. Was burned. That lowers our attack. Um, go for the, I was about to say hyper potion, it's a super potion. Was hurt by the burn, use tail whip. Um, let's see, jump kick, I'm gonna go for the jump kick. Ooh, did not do that much damage. Well, I guess, yeah, it makes sense, because burn halves our attack. Ooh. Ooh. Oh well. Uh, we do have revives. So it's not too. Oh gosh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, so I'm going to actually pop a revive on JoJo just so he can actually get the experience. It's revitalized. Use that quick attack. Okay, that's fine. You do you, hun. Uh, go for the surf. Use that roar, but I'm unaffected. Yes. <laughs> I don't know where I pulled the water from, but it was super effective anyways. There we go. JoJo grew to level 39. Amber grew 183 experience. Nice. I lost out. Got 1,500. What do you say afterwards? I never wanted to lose to anybody. Well, first time for everything. Oh, gosh darn it. Oh, it's a Graveler. 
Uh, Graveler is level 41. It is... hmm. Let's use Super Potion. There we go. Uh, oh, gosh darn it. Really? I hope you survive. Honey. Honey. Oh, honey, no. <laughs> the Graveler was defeated! It killed itself! Oh, no! Remember what I said? About Graveler knowing self-destruct? Yeah. These, these Gravelers will explode turn one. I don't get why. I mean, yeah, it made me lose a Pokemon, but it did not win the battle. Uh, I can see you're good. Let me see uh, how good you are. Oh, okay. Voice kind of trailed off there. Like, let me just see. Oh, okay. Ah, an Ivysaur. Ah, yes, an Ivysaur. Hmm, be a shame if I had a bug type on my team. Oh, wait, I do. Use that growth. There we go. Um, we're going to go for the twin needle. Nice. Good job, Wraithy. Excellent work. Uh, I was about to use a war turtle. Uh, yeah, we'll... Uh... Hmm, water type. Uh, Jojo doesn't have the best special. We're going to go for uh, Vinny. There we go. Use the sleep powder. Good job. Excellent. War Turtle is fast asleep. And now we're going to go for the solar beam. Taking in the sunlight in a cave. So I get that it would take a couple of turns. Woke up just in time to see its complete and utter destruction. Excellent. 1200 experience is about to use a Charmeleon. Uh, yeah, we're gonna swap, uh, swap for Bulby. Bulby hasn't seen some action in a while. Uh, Vinny, that's enough. Send out a Bulby. Um, use that Surf. That's the reason why I brought you out. Use that Slash. Critical hit. At this point, with how many times Slash has gotten a critical hit, I think it just always gets criticals in Gen 1. I don't know. I could be wrong. Because I am often wrong. There we go. Use that surf again. There we go. Excellent. Thank you. Super effective. Nice. It's about to use a Charizard. Uh, now nah, let's keep Bulby in. Bulby could see what it's like to uh to attack. Oh my gosh, really? An X attack? Okay. Uh, use that surf. Let's see. Uh, Bulby should. Be able to, um, mm, I'm not sure actually. Also, I like saw a flash in the corner of my eyes, so it's like I, I turned to check. I think someone came upstairs real quick. There we go. Excellent. And one more. Use that ember. Same type of attack bonus. Critical hit. Nice. Nice. I can respect that. There we go. One last surf. You did it, Bulby. Congratulations. 1800 experience. Did not get a level up, though. Uh, I had a chance. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Uh, we're going to give some super potions to people. Um, one more for Bulby. There we go. And uh, one for Kitty Bank. Nice. Good deal, good deal go up we are now in the second floor we have two things and I probably have to reactivate strength well we can move boulders excellent uh, so I want you here and then down and then over to the left oh excuse me oh that got rid of both Yes, okay, so that's probably like a one-way. Ah! Victory Road is the final test for trainers. Yeah! Well, I guess yes, to see if they're they're worthy of fighting the Elite Four. So yeah, that would make sense. Black Belt wants to fight. Black Belt sent out a Machoke. Uh, we have a JoJo. Uh, I'm going to go for the Rolling Kick. 
Didn't do that much damage, did not get the flinch. Yikes, that critical hit. Karate Chop's always getting the critical hit. That's kind of crazy. Um. Hmm. What to do? I'm not I'm not keeping JoJo in for that. That's too dangerous. Uh use the karate chop. Didn't get a critical that time. Okay. Going in for the surf. Good deal, good deal, good deal. There we go. Amber grew to level 45. Which is excellent. I'm about to use him a chop. Uh no. Not yet. Uh, I want to give Jojo a super potion. There we go. Ooh, use that seismic toss. Ugh. Yikes. Uh, you know what? Just surf it. Wash it away. Wash it down the drain. There we go. And excellent critical hit. Good job, Amberry. Uh... Let's see, another Machoke? No, keep Amberry in. This Machoke's level 43. Go for the Surf. Surf is crazy powerful. I think... Didn't... I think it was like 90, 95 power. Uh, defense fell. I'm gonna go for the Bubble Beam. Just because. Critical hit. Completely unnecessary critical hit. Whoa, hold on. What is this victory theme? What is this victory theme? Very confused. Very confused. <laughs> we do have some items I want to get uh, real quick. So let's grab this one. Uh, TM05. Not going to say the line that I always say. Uh, contains Mega Kick. Uh, so we can... What? We... We can... What? We can teach that... To Jojo. Or we could get encountered by Golbats. Um... Braithy. It's only level 40, but still. Um... Okay, let's run. Da, 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 da. Do I have a super repel up? Um, well, if we... S That's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. Switch with Breathy. There we go. Um, repels effect wore off. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Super repel. I still have a few more flights. Let's see, we go this way. There's a kid with a Pokeball. Found a full heal. Not a full restore, but a full heal. Still good. Um, let's see. There are plenty of fighters here. Um, let's see. TM17. Submission. Um, I'll think about it. And decide if I want to teach that to JoJo. There we go. Uh, is Victory Roof too tough? Nah, not really. Just uh, a little confusing on where I need to go sometimes. Juggler wants to fight. Juggler sent out Mr. Mime. Oh, no. I should have sent. Oh, well. Uh, at least JoJo will get the experience. I'm going to send out Braithy. Braithy, I need you to murder this Mr. Mime. It's too creepy. Oh, put up a light screen. Protect it against special attacks. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use the Twin Needle. Ooh, super effective. But didn't take him out. Ooh, that double slap. No, thank you. No, thank you. Could you please stop? Please stop. Thank you. It's called double slap, but it hits you four times, and it does the animation twice. Uh, so, therefore, it effectively hits you eight times. Therefore, it's not a double slap. It's just like how Twin Needle like, hits effectively like four times at once, and it's like... Well, then it should be quad needle. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so we've defeated him. Um, 
Let's challenge you. Come on, I'll whip you. Uh, no thank you? I'm not into that. Oh, you meant like whipping the shape? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, then by all means, let's fight. <laughs> Persian, level 44. Jojo. Um, go for the rolling kick. Ooh, use that payday. Uh, thank you. I will collect those coins after the battle. There we go. Ooh, rolling kick was pretty good. Use that payday again. This guy knows what's up. <gasps> oh, that was critical. Oh, there we go. He's about to use a gold duck. Yeah, we're going to change. We're going to change to a Vinny. There we go. Uh, solar beam. Oh, jeez, confusion. Okay. I'm confused? Oh, honey, no. Oh, honey, no. Oh, oh no. Yes. My child is a magnificent one. You destroyed that duck. And you grew level 43. Uh, special is 100. Defense is 114. Nice. I got whipped. And I picked up some money. Um, super potion on Jojo. A couple of super potions on Jojo, actually. Because it's like, I'm not... It's way too far to, like, the nearest Pokemon Center, which is all the way in Viridian City. So I'm just eating up my super potions. Uh, but there is, there is a store right before entering the Elite Four, which is nice. Here we go. Um, if we want that item, we do have to fight this guy. I hear rumors of a child prodigy. Um, that will be either myself or Gary. Um, if the rumor is that the child prodigy is kind of a douche, then that's Gary. If the child prodigy is silent and kind of creepy, that's me. Uh, there we go. Why would he... Well, I guess because, you know, you're silent, you don't really talk, and so people don't like mysteries. Well, they do, but they don't. They, I, I guess they like mysteries solved? I don't know. Regardless, we destroyed this executor with our Brady. Brady? Brathy. Uh, is about to use a cloister. Yeah, we'll change. We'll change to a Vinny. Cloister is water ice. Uh, let's see, level 43? Uh, can we get that sleep powder off? Yes, we can. I woke up immediately, are you kidding me? There we go. Oh my gosh, seriously? Could you stop? Thank you. Ice is not good for Vinny's health, so I'm gonna need you to stop. Thank you. Solar beam... Excellent, excellent. Ooh, nice. Uh, I was about to use Arcanine. Uh, yeah, we'll swap. We'll swap to uh, Aimberry. Arcanine, level 43. It's a fire type. Uh, we're going to go for the Surf. Oh, wow, we're faster than the Arcanine? Really? Okay. And critical hit. Super effective. Down he goes. 1962 was a long time ago. And also the year Taco Bell was founded. Uh, now we can grab this. Max Revive. That is very handy. Um, I think I have a, uh, a Repel Up, so I'm going to have Braithy out front. We have a Boulder that needs to be pushed somewhere. There's a Trainer there. Oh, it needs to be pushed into here. Okay. Here we go, Team 47. Let's double check what that is, because I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, explosion, that's right. Uh, <sighs> oh, good. Um, see, part of me wants to put it up to a poll, but another part of me wants to like pre-record these ahead of time. Um, just because, um, this week is when, um, 
my college classes really start up. I already got started on my Latin course, um, but I have a couple of on-campus courses, so I have to like commute to campus, which is about like like 45 minutes away. But my commute in total is like closer to like an hour, hour and a half or so. So like the city is like only like an hour from me, but like getting everywhere and getting parked, it, it will take lot more than that so oh not chance in that uh, super repel so yeah okay so that disabled that um, let's see there's you <gasps> yes this is it cool guard spec um, let's see who do I want out front oh you know what Kitty Bank's super fast. If we could get Paralysis. Yeah, Kitty Bank's not weak to this. And that means one thing and one thing early. Early? Only. It's Moltres. Legendary bird. I'm going to uh, open up with a Thunderbolt, and I'm gonna, like, try to, to get this battle under control while I run this bio. It's time! The final bird of the legendary trio, Moltres! Moltres has high stats across the board, with its highest being attack and special. This is actually a great combo since Moltres is fire flying, thus giving both its flying type and fire type moves a great amount of power to each of them. Right off the bat, Moltres knows both Fire Spin, a fire type move that ensnares the target, much like Bind and Peck. In just one level, Moltres will learn Leer, and then Agility at level 55, and Sky Attack at level 60. Additionally, you can teach Moltres Razor Wing, Hyper Beam, and Fire Blast all through TMs, and even the Fly HM. Overall, this seems like the best legendary bird for attacking based on stats alone, but it's really up to you which of the birds you want on your team. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I was a bit so, uh, silent a lot longer than I probably needed to be. Sleep powder, come on! Oh no! Oh, we're not fast enough. Oh no. Oh, gosh, Vinny. Okay, um, use next Pokemon, yes. Uh, I'm gonna send out, um, Amberry. Unfortunately, Amberry doesn't have any status afflicting moves. Um, I'm gonna save that Max Revive for um, the Elite Four. You're revitalized, you're using the Fire Spin, that's fine. Amberry's not really gonna get hurt by that. Um, Super Potion, Vinny. There we go. Moltres' attack continues. Uh, Moltres is about, uh, what would you say, 20%, 25% health? We're gonna send out Vinny. Let's hope this works. Use that pack. Super effective, same type of attack bonus. Go for the sleep powder. Use the pack again. Come on, sleep powder. Yes! Moltres is asleep. Go for the ultra ball. Oh shoot, that was a great ball. Oh. Fast asleep. Okay, I'm gonna move my headphones off because that beeping is really loud. Okay, throw the Ultra Ball. Oh my god. Oh, no. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Throw another Ultra Ball. I've got Ultra Balls for days. Actually, no. I only have the one Ultra Ball. Ah, it broke free. Well, at least the capture's not failing. So that means we're still, like, falling within, like, above 1%. No. Please stay asleep. Please stay asleep. Please stay asleep. Please keep using the great balls. Please keep using the great balls. I just, I just need you. I just need you. I just need you. Yes, Moltres was caught. New Pokedex that it will be able to post Moltres. That was not English. <laughs> uh, Moltres, the flame Pokemon, known as the legendary bird of fire, every flap of its wings creates a dazzling flash of flames. You want to give a nickname to Moltres? Yes. Um. Uh, you know what? This wasn't painful nor lucky. So you get the the um, Furf Bird. 
<laughs> you know what? Yeah, you get the botched name. Furf Bird. Furf Bird was transferred to Bill's PC. <laughs> oh. Good lord. Okay. Um, uh, actually, not gonna do that. Um. Okay. Whew. There we go. Um. Okay, so we defeated Moltres. Where? Are we on the third? I don't know. We're not on the third floor. I think we're on first or second. Gosh, I don't even know. Um, that boulder did not stay put, which is a bit annoying. All right. Hey, Bulby, I need your strength. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay. I was expecting to have a much more difficult time with that um, than I did. Which is really nice. Um, I am skipping a few fights here and there. Um, I will uh, try my hardest to remember to go back and fight them. Um, basically, I'm trying to avoid fights that aren't required. Uh, and you could argue that like all the fights that we've done so far are not required. Um, but like for the sake of getting items, they're kind of required. But regardless... Um, I'm trying to fight most of them without, like, trying to go too far out of my way. Um, just because I want to, like, definitely remember, like, hey, you know, don't forget to edit this video. Like, you forgot to edit, uh, number 13. <laughs> uh, not my proudest moment. I was like, huh, did I forget to edit a video? I did forget to edit a video. Uh, okay, here we go. Um... Amber's up front. Uh, let's, yeah, let's fight you. Uh, trainers live to seek stronger opponents. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's kind of true. That makes sense. Cool trainer female wants to fight. Cool trainer female sent out Parasect. That's what it was called. Parasect. <laughs> um, let's go for the fir uh, the first? No, the Surf. Let's see what that does. And, ooh, not very effective. Okay, ooh, Sunspore. Not a fan of that by any stretch of the imagination. Come on back, do it, Berthy. Parasec, use that Leech Life. Gotta get some health back, I presume. Oh, wait, that's, that's kind of dark. Paralyze your foe and then leech their life away? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, even, oh, the worst move set. Stun Spore, Leech Life, Leech Seed, Supersonic, or Confuse Ray. Preferably Confuse Ray because higher accuracy. But yeah, oh my gosh. That would, oh my gosh. That's got, that would be so dark. Be like, you're paralyzed. And you're confused about the situation. And now I'm going to leech your life away twice. Each turn. Whoa. That's crazy. That's, I mean, it makes sense. It is a parasite. But holy crap. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Dugong, yeah. Let's see. Dugong is... Water ice. I believe. I'm going to send out Kitty Bank. Gosh, my team is hurting. Go, Kitty Bank. Uh, can you go for the Thunderbolt? See what that does. Uh, oof, oof. That's that's not good. Uh, there we go, Thunderbolt. Uh, ooh, critical hit. Thank you very much. There we go. Sixteen hundred is about to use Chansey. Yeah, uh, Chansey, I believe, is normal. Uh, it's got a ton of HP. Like, even more than Snorlax. It's kind of absurd. Um, let's go for the double kick. Ho <laughs> ho ho! Gosh, super effective, low defense, high attack. But it's just the way it was scrolling, I was like, it's a lot of health, believe me. Level 40 on JoJo, getting up there with the rest of the team in the level 40 club. Is there is there a single Pokemon that isn't... Oh, Bulby still isn't. What? Bulby isn't level 40 yet. 
Oh, that's right, we got close. Is this gonna be high enough level? It's a Venomoth, it's level 40. It's wild, would it give us enough? I don't know. Going for that leech life, okay. Um, Body Slam? Oh, well, Body Slam did a respectable amount. Ah, you did the Stun Spore. But we still got the strength. There we go, Venomoth fainted. Oh gosh, that wasn't enough? Oh. Well then, why bother with the wild battles? I guess if I fought enough wild battles, it would definitely make up for it. Uh, da 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 da. Super repel. There we go. We have a couple of fights here. I think one of these. You have to like fight one or the other. All right. Well, if that's the case, um, super potion Braithy. Yeah, my team is hurting, and I need to buy more supplies. Also, you, uh, I'll show you just how good you are. What? What? Hold on, I'm gonna need... Oh, wait, I'm out of water. Gosh darn it. Uh, cool trainer, female wants to fight. So now, Bellsprout. Go, Braithy. Bellsprout, yeah, grass poison. Not a good thing to put up against a Beedrill. Just one slash and was done. Uh, Weeping Bell, keep Braithy in. There we go. Do another Twin Needle. Excellent job. 1300. And a Victory Bell, keep you in. And here we go. Also, um, a while back, um, when I was talking about, um, Gloom when I was talking about the Gloom and Vileplume bios, uh, when I introduced Vileplume, I accidentally said Weepin' Bell, or Victory Bell. I think I said Victory Bell by accident, and um, Gunner posted a comment about like how funny it seemed. Like, just imagining a plant uh, evolving into... Or, like, a mushroom evolving into a plant kind of thing, and I was just... I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, that is pretty funny. Just like a little mistake on my part, and it's just like creates this hilarious mental image. There we go, you strength. We have to slowly push this thing across the hall. And I just saw like a bit of spit just like fly towards my computer screen. That's great. Uh that's kind of why I always have my microphone off to the side instead of directly in front of me. Um I don't know if it makes me like have my um, commentary sound weird um, but it definitely keeps me from like spitting all over my mic filter which is nice or my pop filter I should say <gasps> we did it oh we made it to the outside god bless uh, here we go up and around all these statues do these statues say anything indigo plateau the ultimate goal of trainers the Pokemon oh, okay oh they all say that oh Okay. Interesting. Okay. Whatever. Well, we go up here. And through these doors. And we've made it. <laughs> Repels effect roar off. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Yes, please heal my Pokemon. And then there's also a shop counter to our left that we can buy supplies at, which I am very grateful for. Uh, Fighting Fit, we hope to see you again. Excellent. Oh, it's up here? Yes, it's up here. Hello! Hi there, how may I help you? I would like to sell some things. Uh, I am done with uh, Great Ball, so I would like to sell those. And I'm done with uh, Pokeball, so I can sell those. Uh, additionally, I don't need uh, Escape Ropes. And I don't need Super Repels. And uh, I don't need Sky Attack. And... Um, I'll be honest, I don't need Mega Kick. And... Let's see, Guard Spec, that's a battle item. Um... Let's see, I think this is Explosion. I'm just gonna sell all these CMs, because I don't need them. I'm happy with my moveset. Uh, okay. Bye. 
Uh, four stores. Whew. Um, I'm gonna grab one for each member of the team. Uh, max potions is what they sell here. They also sell full heals. I'll grab 12 of those. They sell max repels. I don't need them. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna sell the super potions and grab some max potions. Max potions, here we go. Uh, oh hey, I can buy up to... Oh no, that's just 99. Not how the maximum that I can purchase. Okay. Um... Let's see, what what's the difference? Oh, it's about a $500 difference. Okay, or 500 polka dollars. Um, yeah, I'll grab 16 max potions. And uh, I think I'm good. And that is where I'm going to end it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let's see, I think I got all the items in um, Victory Road, it seems. Uh, so, in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Blue version, we will be uh, finishing up, effectively, the main quote-unquote story mode, uh, which is uh, just beating the Elite Four and becoming um, the champion. So, that episode will either be really long or really short, but we are going to cover all members of Elite Four and getting registered in the Hall of Fame, and maybe some surprise thing that happens at the end of the Elite Four, who knows? Um, and um, then that'll be done for that episode, and then episode 16 will be post game stuff. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in on, I believe this is coming out on Wednesday. This episode's coming out on Monday, is what I meant to say. And then on Wednesday is the Elite Four episode. So, tune in for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday for the Elite Four Challenge. Bye-bye.